Hi everybody, welcome to Hikes, Pikes and Sykes. I'm Chris and today we are going to do a second attempt at the Drawlsden vlog. It's just a small one, all it is is I'm going to take you around the different parts of Drawlsden, explain a little bit about it and I'm going to be doing separate vlogs on each part of Drawlsden in the future. Um, last week we had to abandon it, it was just far too cold and windy. Um, today it's raining, it's windy but it's a lot warmer so we'll see how we get on. Um, so I think we'll start at Drawlsden Football Club. Hello, Let's welcome go. to Drawlston Football Club, formed in 1892. I can't take you inside because it's closed because of the pandemic, as you can see. But I will be doing a full vlog on Drawlston Stadium when I do the Tameside Stadium vlogs. So I'll be doing a vlog on every stadium in Tameside with all the history, when it was built, um, monumentous events, things like things like that. Just, just interesting football facts. Here's a football fact for you, though. In 1921, they hosted Hyde United here for the Manchester Junior Cup final. Hyde won, I don't know the score, that'll be in the next vlog. But they had a crowd of 15,000 spectators. Now still to this day, that happens to be one of the biggest crowds in Tameside ever. So like I say, there are only small sections on parts of Drawsden. So let's head to the Concord Suite for another little bit of information. So here we are approaching the Drawls in Centre, the Concord Suite, right there. Built in the 1970s to house Drawls in Council. Uh, back in its heyday, it was a great venue for things like this. It had a dance hall, bars, and stuff like that. It gets its name con from the Drawls in motto, Concordia, which is on the coat of arms, meaning harmony. Now, what they did, they built the precinct and most of the shops back in back in the 70s around the concord suite so everything was in harmony so it sort of made sense uh, i mean it's a it's not the nicest looking building but it's prefabricated structure is actually a really really clever bit of engineering Heading now towards the Fairfield Mavarian Settlement. I'm going to do a bit of a walk around there, give you a little bits of information. I will be doing a full vlog on the Fairfield Mavarian Settlement, just not just yet. I just want to show you bits and bats and give you a taste of Drawlsden. settlement built around 200 years ago by a group of settlers who fled the modern day Czech Republic because of the religious beliefs in the Protestant church. They fled via Germany then came here and built this wonderful part of Drawsden. It's not really changed much in 200 years. All the buildings are still original. No UPVC windows here and no PVC doors. Solid wood, original glass. That's why they do a lot of filming here in films and stuff like that. And most recently they've filmed the Peaky Blinders here. Um, so yeah, but like I say, when the pandemic is over, I'll be doing a full vlog on the entire settlement with dates, uh, historical events, 
and we can actually go inside some of the buildings and have a look. Uh, go inside the church, which is a very important part of the, uh, the settlement as well. So I'm going to leave you with some shots of the area. Hope you like them. And now we're off to a very historical part of Drawlsden. A few bits of information about Drawlsden while I'm on my way to the Robinson's Jam Factory. Quite a musical town as well. We've got singers like Howard Donald from Take That, Eric Michael Stewart from 10CC, Chris Brooks from the Ultimate Boy Band Experience, and the guys from the Time Warp, Damien. Fascinating. So here I am at the world famous Robinson's Jam Factory site. Nothing left now, it's a building site. They're making way for a new housing development. Uh, all that remains of the factory is that little bit there. It was closed in 2008 um, because they moved elsewhere. But it was Drawson's biggest employer to date. Supplying the world with jellies, jams, spreads, cakes, Christmas puddings. But now, it's just nothing. It's a shame really. Some at Drawls and could have been proud for proud of. Drawls and the home of Robertson's Jam. Now it's nothing. I think what they're gonna do is I think they're naming the housing development site after the, the, the jam factory. I think it's called Marmalade at the Jam Factory. That's what they're gonna call it. Um, so there'll be some so it'll always remain in the memories of the people of Drawlsden and people who worked here. Um, I will be uh, getting you some archive footage of the factory and putting it in the B-roll on this vlog. But again, I won't do too much on it, too much on the history because that will come in a separate vlog when I'm doing this part of Drawlsden. in Doylesden and you're wondering why we're here what's famous about a Tesco's well it's not actually the Tesco's that's famous it's what used to be here there was a bit there was a, an old mill that used to be here that used to manufacture um, towels and face cloths and flannels and stuff like that and you're thinking so what but the very first bath towel terry towel was invented right here in Doylesden right in this mill now it was 
brought back by Christian Sons from Turkey in 1846. It was a hand-woven loom towel. Now they wanted to replicate that and produce it by the masses in, in, their, in their factory, in their mill. Uh, and, they man and it took them 11 years to, to get it right. Now when they got it right, these towels were so popular and so nice that Queen Victoria herself actually ordered directly from Drawsden and ordered loads and loads and loads of them. Uh, the Royal Turkish Tower, which you can still get today. Uh, obviously it's not made here, it's not made in Tesco's. But what's funny is Tesco's actually sell them. So yeah, so the factory, uh, the mill closed in 1980. It was knocked down in 1997 and this was built here. Uh, what, what angers me a bit is there's no blue plaque. It's, there's nothing here. Queen Victoria bought these towels from here. They was invented here that are in 99% of the UK bathrooms and all around the world. Uh, something that drawers and can be proud of. So yeah, so I am going to go into Tesco's now and get something for tea and I will see you all next time on Hikes, Pikes and Sites. <laughs>